Hey everyone, my name is James, and welcome back to Chippy's Couch, and we're back for another day of Terraria Masochist Mode. Now, it's been a little while since you guys have seen me. The Christmas time has come and gone, and hopefully everybody here had a great Christmas. If you don't celebrate it, I just hope you had a great day, and all of the days following, of course. I had a great Christmas. It was probably my favorite one so far. And I ended up spending a lot more time with the Famalam than first predicted. So what this meant is I wasn't around, I wasn't in my office playing Terraria making videos. So we kind of took a bit of a hit on the video front. But that being said, I feel so relaxed and so refreshed. And I feel like you need that. Going into a new year, you need that little bit of relaxation. I feel great. So in today's episode, we're going to be making our preparations for hard mode. And this is going to get really challenging because I tried to record an episode before I left and at the very start what we were trying to do is the Hallowed Mimic. So we were doing the Hallowed Mimic, trying to get a Daedalus Stormbow. I'm not going to show you that because the footage is so old now, but it didn't go well. This is a really challenging boss fight. I only got to do it once, but you know, that was enough, right? That was enough to see exactly what was going on. So what it does is, it ends up firing all of these bullets out of you. So I'm just scouring around right now to see if there's an area where I want to fight it. And I think it might be here. It'd be better if we were around a bunch of NPCs to get, like, all of the benefits of that. But I think I just need, like, one flat area somewhere where I know where it's going to move. You know, I can predict it. But it is going to be challenging. I feel like one of the things I want to equip is going to be this. I want this on me instead, so that I have a little bit of extra uh, jump height. I feel like this would be better with uh, wings, to be completely honest. But I don't have wings right now, so I'm going to try it without wings for the first time. And then we'll see what else happens. But yeah, I had a great Christmas. I got absolutely spoiled by my uh, by Courtney and my mum and my Famalam. It was great. Like, I'm sat here right now. i got a brand new mug I'm very pleased with. It's from the Nintendo store. And I'm drinking, like, some really cool Christmas coffee that I got. I also got, um, like I say, Assassin's Creed on the Switch. I've been really enjoying that. It's the one with uh, Black Flag and Rogue. And um, got some new shoes, you know. Everybody be looking fresh. This has already gone really bad. Because I have confusion right now. And that's not what you need, confusion. So let me show you what this does then. So it fires out these little darts. But it's also just an absolute menace. <laughs> it's a real menace. And I do feel like this is a really cool weapon to get, but I do feel like it might almost be impossible for us. Because we're a bit scrubbish. You know, we're not the best people. I'm going to I'm gonna revert that, by the way. I'm going to revert fighting it there. I want to go back onto this platform. And I want to, like, create a big distance as I start the fight. But what we've done is, is what I did in the last episode, the episode is not coming out. Um, I did farm quite a bit. I farmed for... Lots of souls so that I could keep doing this. And I also farmed for all of the stuff for uh, for holy arrows. Now, I would use holy arrows now, but I don't think they're that good, are they? When you're, um... Actually, Joe, you know we'll give them a try. We'll give them a try, because we've got to craft them anyway. So let's have a little look. Holy arrows. How many could I make? I can make 800, because I don't have other arrows. Okay, so these do 20, and these do 15. But I think it all depends on where the star falls, or something like that. We'll have a look. So let me slap on some buffs. Oh, I'm out of buffs. Buffs would uh, really help. I'm pretty sure we got a little dude now. We got a combination man. Hello, Porky. How you doing, fam? Give me one of these. Uh, give me one of these. And give me one of these. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. This is how we like lose all of our money, by the way. <laughs> this, this is true. This is very true. This is like how you spend all of your money. Just getting combi pots constantly. Okay, so let the, let the health build up, you know. Alright, let's go. Let's try this. Okay. So I didn't get stunned right out of the gate. Whoa, okay. I've got to remember that I can't fly. I was playing a little bit of Switch Terraria, I won't lie. And uh, I have wings on that profile. So, um... Oh, okay, this is actually working pretty well. I don't know if it's the, the summoner doing more damage or it's me. No, okay, don't don't slow down. So I think this is the pro strat. The pro strat is to, to just move along. I mean, if you look at our health right now, it's clearly very low. <laughs> so, like, we're not perfectly there, but we did we did quite a lot of damage then. I would say, I would say that was that was pretty good. Man, I'm notice it's funny, right? Because you kind of train your, your little throat muscles, right? If you talk a lot, your throat starts to like slowly change, right? And I can tell because I've had a break that my voice sounds slightly different. <laughs> it's weird. If I can notice it, then one of you probably will. You'll be like, James, are you getting ill? I feel fine. I don't feel ill. 
Okay, let me try this again then. I want to, um, I really do want to beat this. I want to, I want to get this weapon. But the problem is, is like beating it is just the first part of the challenge. Because the rest of the challenge is actually farming out for that, for that Daedalus bow. Because it takes forever. Because <laughs> it's a nuisance. It's an absolute nuisance, this fight. Okay, I managed to, uh, to flip the boss fight around, so that's good. Just gotta be careful with these bullets, because these bullets deal like 100 damage. Just gotta be careful here as well. I don't want them to uh, reflect back on me, any of my, uh, my holy arrows. God, this last part of the health always baits you in, doesn't it? <laughs> so we got a, a vile shard, of course. <laughs> You're never gonna get anything better, are you? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. With that fight, that's it. That's the best you can expect, a vile shard. Have I got any more chests? Oh, wow. I've actually got quite a lot. This is like egging me on to just keep farming. So I will just do that. I'm just going to keep farming, seeing what happens. Wasting a bunch of holy arrows, but that's all right. But it's best to like just keep doing them back to back because of these uh, combi pots. Hey, look at that. There we go. Daedalus Stormbow. All right. That actually took like quite a lot of attempts. And it was good because each one that I managed to like win, we could sell all of the goodies and then keep funding the combi pots, because like I said, they're very expensive. But there we go, Daedalus Bow. I'm really glad I got it. So I went and checked out getting some leaf wings, right? I mentioned it at the start. I thought, you know what? Wings would be pretty good, because I was really struggling to beat those little chests, right? But after a while, I got a really good rhythm to it. I love this broken uh, background still. Looks pretty cool. It's cool because once you back out of the game, the, uh, the main menu background is broken as well. It looks pretty goofy. I like it. Um, so yeah, I put a house here and I get a witch doctor. And you know what happened? Your boy doesn't sell wings. No leaf wings to be bought. So I'm assuming that this is a change in masochist mode. Now, I would say that this is 100% jungle, right? I can hear jungle music. It's popping. Got the background and everything. But no wings, so yeah, I'm guessing that this is like a masochist mode change, and that's the way it's going to be, but alright, okay, so I did get proper baited in by that, so let's see if our bow is the same as it always is, yeah, it's pretty great, so because of the fact that I don't have to spend my only plat on wings, I think we should probably buy some reforges for this, wow, I almost feel like we should just stop here and be like, all right, we're pretty blessed. 11 speed and velocity. I'll take it. Because I don't think we're going to get any better. I think that's going to be the uh, the pinnacle of, of everything that we've got. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the uh, adamantite repeater on the hotbar so that when I'm farming down below, I've still got, you know, something to shoot at straight. Because I find that using the uh, the Daedalus blow underground is it's kind of annoying. I just called it the Daedalus blow. <laughs> nice. Right, so what do we do now? Well, I guess what we would do is we would probably work on getting wings. It's still so weird that this world only has two floating islands. I'm still not over it. So what I'm going to do is, is I've, got, I've already got some buffs. I've got some combi pots on me and I've got some that I can take as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll take rope. So let me search for this rope. And I'm going to make a little base up on the floating island. And what I'm going to do there is farm out for uh, for wyverns. So let's have a little look. Dungeon teleportation potion. Thank you very much. Because I don't feel like my jump height is, is big enough to get me there. And then we're going to have to decide on um, on what wings to get. Which is a pretty good point. I don't know which ones I'm going to um, gonna craft. I mean, if, the, if, if a blizzard rolls around, I'll have icy wings. Sure, that'd be good. So it's actually much later in the day now. I took a break while farming because I'm honestly, I was talking about it earlier, but I'm genuinely so obsessed with, um, oh yeah, forget that you can't breathe up here. Is it possible to take gills potions then while you're up here? Let's have a little check because I'm kind of curious because that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So let's see. Let's take gills. We'll take seven with us and then we'll take one of these bad boys. Thank you very much. Let me take that. Bam. Yeah, I'm honestly so obsessed with Assassin's Creed. I've been playing through Black Flag at the minute, and um, I'm just loving it. I hated the game, which is so strange. Like, all these years ago, it came out, and I really didn't like it. And then now I'm like, it's all I can think about. I've played, like, I don't know, a good four hours of it today, which is quite a lot for me. I don't sit down and play for hours and hours for a lot of games, really. I mean, I used to, for sure, but not anymore. 
Okay, so I guess what I do is I dip in, look for wyverns, come back. I think what I might do is I might go and grab, while I'm here, just to be a bit more productive. I'm gonna grab some blue candles. Oh, so you see these creeper eyes? These are what got me through all of the uh, the Hallow Mimic fights, because what I was doing is, I was waiting until like I had like four or five of them, and then starting the fight, because it had that phase with the coin gun, and it was kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of annoying. But these um, these creeper eyes, they really helped out. Like, it just, you know, softened a lot of the uh, the blows, you know? So, it was good. It was worth waiting out for. Man, I can't believe it's almost um, 2020. It's a great year to say. I almost wish I was back in school. Because it used to be really satisfying writing down the date every day. Do you still do that in school? Probably. I assume so. If any of you are in school, let's hope that you're not. Copper and all that. Let's just pretend you've all got jobs. How's everybody's jobs doing? Do you write the date down? And you're, whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, I hope everybody's writing down the date of their job. But some years, more than others, are really satisfying to write. And I feel like 2020 seems like a really good year to write down. Is that an odd thing to say? Probably so. So I've lost all of my buffs, and I can't click B. Is that because of this? Purified, maybe? B? Oh, did I put them away in the chest? Oh, moron. Are these wyverns still coming? Alright, okay, cool. I was like, where are you gone? <laughs> Alright, so what did you give me? You gave me souls of flight, and you also gave me sky crates. That's kind of curious, actually. I wonder what you would uh, need the sky crates for, really, at this point in the game. Maybe it's just like a little bonus. 2019 has been like, I don't know, it's been amazing, honestly. It's been a really cool year. I've, I've done a lot, and the channel's done a lot as well. One, two. So, yeah, they're just like... Yeah, they're just crates. Okay, well, we'll sell all of that. But um, but it's time to start coming up with a, a new New Year's resolution. Um, Man, I had one this year, if you didn't already know. Because I imagine a lot of you weren't here at the start of the year. My uh, resolution was to, uh, to stop drinking energy drinks. To give a whole year off of uh, energy drinks. Because I used to be the kind of guy that would drink, like, two to three Red Bulls a day. That sounds so scary to some people, but to some people it's just normal, right? You're just like, oh yeah, it's just a Red Bull, whatever, man. But I was like beginning to fear for my life. So I was like, no more. And I've like successfully done that. I've not had an energy drink since New Year's last year. So, you know, New Year's resolution complete. I'm going to need to come up with another one though. I need an even better one. All right, so I waited out for the rain so that I could try and get myself an icy feather. Because I was thinking about like all of the wings that you can make. And I feel like these are, are probably the best. So, you know, you wait around a little bit, you play a little bit of Black Flag, you get some rain, and you're good to go. I was looking back on my footage, though, because I was really, like, curious about why we had three sets of buffs, and then one we didn't. We didn't. And for a second, I was like, oh, I, I put them away. You know, I must have put them away when I went to the chest. But no, I didn't put them away. They just, uh, they vanished. So it probably was that purified buff, whatever that does, Maybe it just, like, it deletes all of your buffs, or maybe it was, like, a mod conflict, but there we go. We got an answer for that one, you know, no longer an unsolved mystery. Jesus, that's a cool attack. So, yeah, we're waiting out for ice golems, essentially. I'm pretty sure these can just spawn, like, any time they want. We don't have a very large, like, uninterrupted ice biome, because we've got crimson either side of it. So, I'm just gonna, like, hope that one shows up and be like, okay, I'll grab you when you're, when you're here, maybe. Alright, here we go. Here's uh, an ice golem. I've been waiting around for a little while, and I was just about to say, oh, I might give in and we'll, we'll find something else. Because I was looking on the crafting recipe, and apparently you can make a giant harpy feather out of the harpy banner. Which is, like, part of the Fargo's mob, which is kind of cool. But there we go. Ice feather. First time. YouTuber look. Thank you very much. This is like an old reference, I'd really appreciate it, but the other day when I was telling my story about my, like, car thing, the top comment was like, you know what that is? YouTuber's luck. And it just cracked me up, I was like, you know what, it is. Right, let's see, wings. Well, first I'm gonna have to put these bad boys in here, and then I can make myself, da-da-da-da, a pair of frozen wings. So I'm gonna take off the uh, balloon for now. So I feel like that's everything that I would get if I was to do a, um, a setup for a mechanical boss. So let's have a little look in here. Mechanical. So we can either do the twins. So I'll make one of those. Or we can do Skeletron. 
All right, cool. I don't actually know what time it is, so I'm gonna quickly make a... Let's see, let me grab some chains and let me grab some bars. I'm gonna quickly make a stopwatch. Can I wanna see what, what time it is? Let me head over here. I'd assume that it's about like half seven. Yeah, oh wow, <laughs> look at that. That is great timing, okay. So what I wanna do is I wanna see what a, uh, a boss fight looks like. So I'm gonna try Skeletron. Because I want to see what uh, what Skeletron even looks like. Okay, so his flamethrower is an actual flamethrower. That's pretty interesting. Okay, let's see. I can also see some like red catapults that he keeps like firing out, which is pretty interesting. So I guess with this one, you would just try and uh, keep your distance. I'd assume from that uh, from that flamethrower. I tell you what, visually this one looks pretty great. I would say. Especially because the uh, the arm doesn't really stay in one spot. It's like flailing around a little bit, so it just looks better. Really cool. So right now there's no health bar on the skull. I've played so much modded, I can't remember if that is a expert mode change or a modded change. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I know that there are some bosses where you have to defeat all of the extra parts before you can really start doing anything else, but I don't really know what it is. Okay, so there's two limbs removed. One is the flamethrower still left. The buzzsaw is left. We're going to get rid of that saw as well pretty quickly. Okay, cool. I almost wish I wasn't doing this during a blood moon so that I could actually see the uh, sprite a little bit better. Right, so the main health pool has opened up. I tell you what, for a first attempt, we're getting a little bit further than I assumed we would. The only problem is is I've got five minutes and I want to make sure that, you know, obviously my buffs are going to run out in five minutes. So I want to make sure I can do as much before that runs out. I also have 460 holy arrows. So I've got to make sure I don't run out of those as well. It feels like my movement is, um, is constantly restricted as I fight this thing. It feels like I'm just like one like tap of the keyboard away from, um, from dying. Okay, so did it just pop out a new hand? Oh my god, if it's going to be like Skeletron where it just pops out new arms all of the time and then you can't deal damage, that's going to be so annoying. <laughs> At least we picked a, uh, a perfect weapon for uh, for destroying hands, really. It means weapon's grey, honestly. Okay, so I can deal damage again then, yeah? Cool, maybe? Let's have a little look. I don't dare get near it, but I almost feel like getting near it is kind of what I need to do. Oh god, I've got confusion on right now. So I'm still doing main damage, which is great to hear. That's both of the arms destroyed. Okay, that's it. This pile on the damage. I was really hoping my uh, my Skeletron hands would uh, give me a little bit more of an advantage. Maybe you can upgrade the, uh, the Skeletron hands in the future. That'd be so sick if you could upgrade them so that you could also have a flamethrower. That would be a little bit extreme, but I wouldn't really put it past the Masochist mod. Okay, I- oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just got tons of hands now. Well, if you like hands, this boy's certainly got them. Oh god. Oh god. At least I'm still doing um, main damage here. Oh my god. This is so sick. <laughs> this is way better than I than I thought it would be. I also love that it, it took so long into the fight to like really start ramping it up. It's kind of nice. Like It's nice to um, feel like you're at least getting somewhere in a fight like this. But there we go. I mean, I got it down to 8,000... 600 damage. I do feel like if I was to uh, to make a longer platform arena, you know, just like make a, a nice solid platform, I feel like I could do that one. That one was pretty great. I really liked that. I almost want to see what the uh, what the the twins look like, but I'm going to save that for uh, for tomorrow. I think. Yeah, I don't feel like the uh, the Eye of Cthulhu is really uh, any match for us. I think we'll uh, we'll defeat that one. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Just a, uh, a shorter one today as I get back into the swing of things. You guys know me. You know, once I have a little break, I need to, uh, to kind of ease my way back into it all. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow, but hopefully you guys have been, uh, have been well. We'll have some more stories to tell as well. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. And I'll see you all tomorrow where we'll be doing the twins. And I'll also give Skeletron Prime another go. Because I do feel like I could beat that one just with a better arena. Right, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.